Hey, Shalom. First of all, I would like to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shah Yahweh, who the world inwardly calls God, and Yahweh Shah, who the world inwardly calls Jesus. I want to give a double honor to the apostles of Great Millstone, who has taught me this truth, and who do teach and rule well. I want to give a peace and blessings to the Akim across the four corners of the earth, who teach this truth and risk their life to do so in sincerity and hopes of, of bidding brothers to the marriage. A um, couple things I want to get into, basically, a uh, real quick video, and the spirit was on me to to basically do a video about this, because me and Akim, uh, we was kind of talking about this a little earlier, on how the, the wicked, you know, are not, they're not punished now, right now, you know what I mean? They're, they're not, their sins are being laid up, you know, for that ultimate punishment, which is the that sword, and what is that sword? That nuclear fire, and really to be under subjection uh, under uh, the Israelites, man. You know, once we we get our kingdom, or once we rule in our kingdom, man. You know, we know now that you know these people. I mean, they got the blessings of of this present world, which the present world it lays in wickedness. You know, it's it's built it and it's funded off of wickedness. You know, so. I mean, you prosper in this place is going to be off of off of wickedness. That's why this place is going to be destroyed and is marked for the sword. But in due time, and Lord willing, that time is now that the wicked, you know, that this place is going to be uh, be um, be destroyed, man. This place, America, is going to be destroyed. You know, but I know now. I mean, it's kind of hard to see because we're like me and Akiem was talking, and right now, I mean, we're getting the men of the Lord. We're getting punished for the things that we've done so we don't get judged with the world and Lord willing I'm, I'm able to bring that out after I bring these couple of scriptures out Lord willing it's on my mind when I get it uh, when I when I get done reading these scriptures but um right now I mean we we we're getting it now the righteous is getting it now so therefore we won't get it with the world because the world is going to receive it on like a hundredfold really if you think about it because you know, they're not, A, they don't see what's coming, you know, and it's going to be a whole lot of destructions coming before that ultimate destruction, which, which is, uh, which is the nuclear fire, which is that, 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 uh, that, um, that lake of fire, man. You know, you got the famine coming, which Edris tells you about that, you know, second Edris, if you read 15 and 16, it tells you about that. Um, and it tells you about martial law, martial law is coming. You got, uh, I don't know if I said famine or martial law, but if I said famine, it's like it tells you about uh, martial law. And it tells you about the famine too a little bit. Um, and it tells you just the, the the beginning chaos of the destruction of this place, America, man. You know? So if we know the scriptures. If we know the scriptures and we believe in the scriptures and we know this is coming, you know, it's only right. And if you're a man of the Lord, I mean, you're going to get so you don't receive it because the most high, he his judge, his judgment gets executed. He's a man of his word, you know, but, you know, he loves us. So he chastises. us. So he he doesn't he does it now, basically to us. So we don't receive it with the world because the world's going to receive it, you know, a hundredfold. This is Job 27. It's Job 27 and seven. It says, let mine enemy be at. Let mine enemy be as the wicked, and he that rises up against me as the unrighteous. For what is the hope of the hypocrite, though he hath gained when the Most High taketh away his soul? Right. What is the hope of a hypocrite, though he hath gained when the Most High taketh, taketh away his soul? When the Most High put him to death, you know, what what, is, what does he gain? You know, give you an example. As far as all the riches in the world, you know, you gain all that, you could die tomorrow. So what have you truly gained? Nothing. That's why it'd be carnal for you to lay, lay your riches up in this place, man. It'd be a uh, 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 carnal to um, to basically invest in a place that's going to come to an end, and only only a few men are able to see, you know, are able to see this place coming to that end, man. For what is the hope of a hip, of a hypocrite, though he hath gained when the Most High taketh away his soul? Well, the Most High. Hear his cry when trouble cometh upon him? No. Because in the scriptures, in I believe in, in the Apocrypha, it says, uh, while they yet had liberty, they had loathed my law. You know, so it's going to be too late once you see, it's going to be too late once you see um, 
you know, once you see the, the famine come, you know, for, for the majority of the world, it's going to be too late once you see the famine come. It's going to be too late when you see, you know, the profits not on the highways and byways anymore. It's going to be too late when the market of beasts is here. It's going to be too late when that first missile gets shot and the rest of them follow. Because while you yet had liberty, you didn't do what the Most High asked you to do. Yet men in this truth, yeah, it's hard, but we risk things in this world to come into this truth through the grace of the Most High, Yahweh, and his son, Yahweh Shai. Because he chooses us, we don't choose him. We don't choose to serve the Lord. The Lord chooses his servants, man, from the womb. The scriptures tell you that. It says, um, this is 9, it says, Will the Most High hear his cry when trouble cometh upon him? Will he delight himself in the Almighty? Will he always call will he always call upon the Most High? I will teach you by the hand of the Most High that which is which is with the Almighty will I not will I not conceal. Behold, all ye yourselves have seen it, and all ye all ye slakia. Behold, all ye yourselves have seen it. Why then are ye thus altogether vain? This is the portion of a wicked man with the most high and the heritage of oppressors, which they shall receive of the almighty. Okay. Now this is, you know, this, this is, uh, this is talking about Esau, uh, as well. You know, if his children be multiplied, it is for the sword, right? And his offspring shall not be satisfied with bread. Right? So if his children multiply, it, it is for the sword. And that ultimate sword is the end game, which is what? Nuclear fire, man, which is death on America. Right? Mass death. This place has mass, mass death coming to it. Those that remain of him shall be buried in death, and his win widows shall not weep. Though he heap up silver as dust and prepare remnant as clay. Right. So though he heap up silver as dust and prepare remnant as clay, he may prepare it, but the just shall put it on. So we're going to receive those benefits that he's preparing and and the innocent shall divide the silver. All right. So all those all those things that these people, they store up and things of that nature, you know, especially the heathen, the top heathen Esau, all the things that you store up, we're going to, I mean, all the treasures of this world is going to go right back to the rightful owners, which is the Israelites, man. The so-called blacks, natives, and the so-called Latinos, man. Latinos, man. You know, because you, you, you took it. You know, you took it by deceit. You took it by deceit, man. You know? This is 2nd Edges 9 and 9. It says, yeah, I'll just get to the point. 2nd Edges 9 and 9, it says, Then shall they be in pitiful case. Who's that they? That's the wicked. Right? Wait, you know what? Let me start at 7. It says, And everyone that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works, and by faith whereby ye have believed shall be preserved from from the said perils and shall see my salvation in my land and within my borders for i have sanctified them for me from the beginning see so the most uh, what i was saying earlier you know it, the most highest portion has been his portion which is his men from the beginning then shall, this is nine, second edge is nine and nine. Then shall they be in pitiful case, which now have abused my ways. Right. Who's that day? That's talking about the wicked. Right. Not only just, just Esau, that's talking about the world, man. The wicked uh, people of our nation, the two thirds, man, you know, and they that have cast them away despitefully shall dwell in torments for such, for such as in their life have received benefits and have not known me, right? They have received benefits and not have known the Most High, right? And they that have loathed my law, right? Basically didn't do his law, hated his law, while they had yet liberty, right? Basically while you had yet liberty, because right now we have, have liberty, you know, and I say we as far as Lord willing, we the man of the Lord, 
and elect, we have liberty to to get right with the Most High before the, the destruction comes. But these people, they didn't get right with the Most High. They're not going to get right with the Most High because they wasn't chosen. It all goes back to the chosen, man, the elect, because the Most High say he has care for his elect. And they that have loathed my law while they had yet liberty, and when as yet place of repentance was open unto them, understood not, but despised it right. So when yet repentance was given unto these people, they despised it and they understood not. But they didn't try to understand neither. Some of these people don't try to understand because they can't, you know, and they won't. The same must know it after death by pain. And therefore be thou not curious how the ungodly shall be un be punished. And when but inquire how the righteous shall be saved who the world is and for whom the world is created. Right. So be not curious on how the wicked is going to be punished. Right. Because they are going to be punished. They have a great judgment coming to them, you know, but be more interested or have your mind more on how the righteous shall be saved. Because if you compare the two, as far as how the righteous is going to be saved and how the wicked is going to be punished. And if you are a wise man or a man that has common sense, you will want to know, okay, well, if that's coming, as far as the hell, famine, destruction, and mark of the beast, and slaughtering, and killing, and all that, and the, and, uh, and the missiles is coming, how, what can I do to not partake in that? What can I do? So if your mind is on that, then your mind is constantly going to be, and that's when that fear comes in, the fear of the Lord comes in, because you know the Lord is going to bring that upon the world. And that's, a fear, that's some fearful shit, man. You know, when you really when you really understand and think about it. Like, I know in videos we say it, but when we really sit alone and stand, or sit alone and, and really think about it, or maybe you watch a movie or something like that, or maybe it's just on your mind and you think about the shit that's coming, it brings fear to you. So you're going to want to know. I mean, you're going to, yeah, you're going to inquire on how the righteous is going to be saved, man. You know? It says, then I then answered, I answered, then answer I and said, I have said before and now do speak and will speak it also hereafter that there be more many of them which perish than of them which shall be saved. Right. So the majority of the world is going to perish. Right. And only a remnant, which is the one, uh, the one third and the elect is going to be saved. Look, look at the comparison. This, this is a second address. Nine and 16. It says like. As a wave is greater than a drop. Right. And he answered me saying, like as the field is, so is also the seed as the flowers be. Such are the colors also, such as the workman and such also in the work. And as the husbandman is himself, so is the husbandry also for it was the time of the world. What? But the point is, uh, the point is in, um, in 16. It says, like as a wave is greater than the drop. So the world will be the wave and the elect men of Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai will be considered that drop. That's going to be saved, man. You know? You know, great, great destruction is coming upon this place. You know, I, I don't remember the scripture I was going to get. I know I said I was going to get something, but it's not on my mind to get it. Um, but yeah, man, you know, that's, that's just, you know, it's, it's famine and, and nuclear fire and a lot of hell coming, man, which is well-deserved to this world, man. You know, it's well-deserved to this, to this world because this world, I mean, it didn't just look at us, man. Just look, you know, out of the majority of the world, look who's on the highways and byways, man. You know, the majority of the world ain't speaking this truth. It's only a remnant of men actually trying to speak this truth, man, and really preaching and teaching, you know? So that's all I wanted to get, you know, uh, Lord willing, this video was, uh, this was Lord willing, this video was edifying. I want to say shalom.